Well, we continue to celebrate our 75th anniversary once again. We're digging into the archives to take a look back at some of the biggest and most memorable moments. Many of you have told us you've really enjoyed this, and we love doing it. So tonight we're going to take a, a little trip. We're going to travel back to 1987 and WrestleMania 3. 93,000 fans packed the Pontiac Silverdome to see their favorites take to the mat, including Hulk Hogan and oh, yeah. Andre the Giant. Here's Fox 2's Ryan Armani. You got 90,000 people out here. What do you think it is? March 29th, 1987 at the Pontiac Silverdome, WrestleMania 3. Former TV2 reporter Martha Sharon reported on all the excitement in the weeks leading up to the big event. All the restaurants, hotels, airlines, rental cars, uh, any kind of mass transportation, we'll see definite upswing uh, this week. And the city of Pontiac, for one, is ready to have some fun. I really get into it. I sit at home and I start hollering and screaming and <laughs> telling them, come on, hit them again or throw them out of the ring. And the city is ready to make some money off the masses. Posters hang in every business reminding folks that Sunday is party day. Drink, dance, and be merry and make those cash registers ring. Many are staying open just for the event. It's our first Sunday that we're going to be open permanently on Saturday and Sundays during the day. This is our first Sunday. No we want to rule the here. planet. We, we want, want everything. The WWF superstars even sat down with TV2 promoting their matches. See, I've been a star so long, Adrian Adonis, I forgot what it was like to try to become one. <laughs> well, you're not using me as a stepping stone. You have a combination of a tank and a Porsche. The contrast is there. <laughs> you, you, they've, they've got us together now, and there's no team capable of stopping us. When I faced Ricky the Dragon Steeple when he was the number one contender on national TV, well, he didn't wrestle for a while after that. 93,173 fans came to see it. At the time, it was the largest indoor crowd ever in North America. Here's a part of longtime WJBK reporter Bill Gallagher's report on the day of the event. A winding line of humanity headed for WrestleMania 3. They came to Pontiac from around the nation to root for their heroes. What do you like most about wrestling? The Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> the slams. Is the Hulk going to win today? You know it. The 90,000 plus crowd was orderly for the most part. Satellite communication dishes beam the wrestling extravaganza to tens of millions around the world. Inside the Silverdome, wall-to-wall people, the Lions would love crowds like this. People lined up to get their WrestleMania souvenirs. The cash flow was brisk. Food concessions did a banner day feeding the hungry fans. As the Silverdome filled to the brink, the excitement grew. So many people were asking the question, why do you watch this stuff? Professional wrestling had been the personal property of the working class. But now WrestleMania has become avant-garde with the yuppie class. It's the in thing. More than that, in the fantasy world of professional wrestling, Hogan and the other good guys in the sport are folk heroes. They aren't identified with the establishment like the overpaid spoiled brats of baseball and football. Millions of people who can't identify with the establishment find their heroes in the wrestling ring. With that kind of reasoning, I've lost my fear that our whole society is slipping into dementia, and hopefully WrestleMania, like other fads before it, will pass and be forgotten with the rest.